All right, good morning. It is Friday, April the 3rd. We are through another week of remote learning. Congratulations and good job to you for doing your work. Um, just want to cut base with a couple on a couple of things. Um, so social studies this week was pretty intense. There were three different packets that you needed to complete after looking at different websites for res as resources um, to complete the information on the 13 colonies. So the first packet was assigned on Tuesday, and that was um, the northern colonies. Wednesday was the middle colonies, and the th uh, Thursday was the southern colonies. So they're all the 13 colonies, right? They all add up to be the 13 colonies, but we broke them apart by region because things that were happening in the, the northern colonies were very different than what was happening in the southern, and we'll look at that timeline today. Um, so a couple of activities for today. Um, it's going to be a little bit lighter for you in terms of what you're expected to do. Um, today I'm going to post a video of me going through the southern colonies. So just like I've done with the northern colonies and the middle colonies, if you haven't seen those yet, <clears throat> shame on you. Um, they're posted in the 13 colonies resources. Um, take a look at those. Um, they basically have me going through the websites and the text that I've given you as resources and I walk you through step by step a little bit more um, with some explanation and as only Mrs. Hickey can do um, to give you some information and help you synthesize that data a little bit more. If you're still struggling with how do I figure some of this stuff out, my suggestion to you is this. Um, go ahead and watch let's say we're doing um, the middle colony. Go ahead and watch my video, um, and the video will walk you through New York to begin with. So go ahead and listen to me doing talking to you about New York and write down the information, but then pause the video. Um, and then go into Google Classroom, find your resources, um, and click on the information and the, the text about New Jersey. Try to do that one by yourself. Try to read the information online from your text and from the information, um, the websites that I've given you. And then from there, go back and watch my video. If you did the work, you'll see whether or not you got it right or not. I, I literally go through the information and say, okay, New York was founded in this time, at this, at this year, by this person, and here's why they did it. I actually say those things so that you get this right. I want you to understand what's going on because we're going to talk about how those 13 colonies become the beginning of the um, the United States and how we go into this the American Revolution. And those are important concepts to understand about what's going on in those regions. So let's make sure you're doing your work and you understand what's happening. So if you get it right on the video and you you know you get New Jersey and you get all those things right, but you want to do a little bit more, go ahead and. Try it again. Try Pennsylvania. Do the research and read the articles and then check your work with my video. Um, if you're struggling, the video is always there. But I want to challenge you that if you don't learn how to do this, then, you, then you're then you just creating yourself. Um, you're, not, you're not challenging yourself, really, right? Like you guys are going to middle school next year. That kind of skill of being able to read information, process it, and be able to put it in your own words is a skill you're going to need to know how to do as you go into seventh, uh, sixth grade next year. So take a breath. That Those three packets are your priority today. I will put up the Southern Colonies this morning. Um, in addition to that, so this week, if you look at what was due this week for me, Monday you had a response on Google um, about the Mayflower Compact and what kinds of challenges you would would have anticipated in coming across on a ship and to the new world, what you would have put in there. Um, you'll be getting some of that information back today with some comments. If I want you to make some changes or I want to push your thinking, um, please make sure you respond and that you send it back to me so I can look at it. Um, and then the other three individual slides. So there's four documents that are due today uh, that were due this week. So what's due today? Today you're going to get some information on Jamestown, Strawberry Bank, um, and there may be a third one for the middle colonies. Um, but I'm going to try to give you some websites that I want you to take a look at. Um, they're not hard. It's more of understanding what life is like through looking at um, those colonies. These are 
associations or, or organizations that have set up um, life in Jamestown, what it would have been like, and they are sort of living in the, that model out so people can see what it was like to be living in those times. So I have a couple of activities that you have to do. They're very easy. They're explore some things, and then there'll be a quick question that you have to answer. Um, after doing, um, I'm thinking the virtual tour uh, is what I'm at, and through a video is what you're going to look at. So um, that will be posted in shortly. Um, so that is your assignment for today. So pretty easy. Watch the check out the links for today's assignment on Jamestown and Strawberry Bank, and then um, answer the question. Science. So last week we were looking at what was decomposing. Um, and how did the leaves in the ground decompose? What was there? We talked about that fungus that was constantly growing, the mushrooms um, that's constantly around. Um, I put up my pictures of my strawberry, and a few of you are asking, so what do I do? Well, remember, there was a document that you had to complete with your observations of an, um, an object that you were decomposing on your, in your kitchen or your house. Um, I told you that if you couldn't do that, I was happy to do a strawberry for you so that, and, and document it so that you could use mine as your assi assignment. So if you didn't do it, don't stress about this. I will still obviously encourage you to do it for yourself because it's really cool. Um, but my kids and my husband are like, Mrs. Mom, can we just, this is gross. Like, are we throwing this away now? Yeah. Um, so take a look at it. Um, and what I want you to do is, copy my pictures and paste them into your document. Remember, everybody got a slide um, presentation that you needed to fill out and you were supposed to put your own pictures of what you were decomposing into each day. If for some reason you just didn't do it or you missed it or you couldn't do it, take a copy of my picture and insert it into the presentation. The part that you're responsible for is the thinking around it. What are you noticing? We've worked all year on looking at your observations. Who, what, why, where, when. What does it look like? What does it smell like? Don't, well, you can't smell it, but, and honestly, you don't want to smell it. But what does it touch? You know, really look at the texture, look at the color, look at the shape, look at the length. What are you noticing that's changing? This is where details matter, right? If somebody can't see a picture and you were describing it to them, you would want to make sure your information was very specific. It's a quarter of the size that it originally was. The color is bright or vibrant. The color is dull. There's a gray, green, fuzzy layer covering whatever your descriptive words are, but be specific about it. Maybe even tell me if you're growing something else, half of the, you know, the, the fungus has, has uh, um, grown half onto my orange or a quarter of the bread is, is, a, is one color and the other quarter is another color. I know it's kind of gross, guys. I get it. But we're trying to understand why this happens and what happens if we just leave things out. Why do we not just have perfect strawberries and other um, fruits and vegetables just sitting there on the ground all year long? Wrong. Something happens to them, right? Like things just don't stay fresh. They decompose after a period of time. So we're looking at that piece for next week. So there's my rant for today. Um, if you've watched this video all the way to the end, go ahead and um, send me a, let me think here. I want to know what month your birthday or what day your birthday is. So send me a, don't put it in the comments where everybody can see because then that'll be a give it away. So just put it in a private comment to me on Google Classroom. Um, and send me your birthday. So don't tell anybody. It's a challenge to see um, what's going on. Oh, Mr. Byron's sending me something about a Google Meet today for 10 o'clock for my class. Oh, it looks like Mr. Byron is having a Google Meet with you at 10 o'clock today too. So I'll uh, put, put more on there on, on the video for you or on there. But um, do spread that word. Oh, there goes a, an elusive Seamus. All right, guys, I miss you. I know, I, I know, my kids are saying to me, Mom, we can't keep doing this remote learning. It's not going to, there's no way. It can't work. I know it's hard. I do. I, I'm feeling it. 
I'm feeling like I'm at the computer all day long. Look, I have my special glasses that help my eyes for the all the blue light I'm looking at the computer. But listen, we've been talking about this all year. We've been talking about the fact that it's a challenge for you. And we all have a choice, right? We have a choice on how we respond. We can't control the situation, but we can control how we respond. If we get frustrated, if we give up, if we don't care, then that's going to be how it, the outcome is. So I challenge you to don't give up. Don't get so frustrated that you don't want to do this anymore. Find a way to make this work for you. The great thing is, is that it is flexible. You know, when we're in the classroom, um, social studies and science was at 930. Like it or not, that's what time we did it. If you don't want to do it to science until 2 o'clock in the afternoon, that's your choice. You've got more flexibility. But it, the work part isn't a choice. More um, Next week, I want to try to do some more fun projects that you can be working on on your own. But please, listen, this is a challenge, and I know you can rise to this challenge, right? It's all about how you choose to react that's going to be whether or not this is successful or not. And in the end, you guys will move on to sixth, to sixth grade into middle school. And this will move, this will pass. If we don't go back to school, either way, we will go back and things will go back to the way you normally know it. And you need to make sure that what you needed to learn this year happens. And I'm here to help you. And Mr. Byron's here to help you and Mrs. Kerrigan and Mrs. Marshall and anybody else that you have on your team. But remember, you I can't open up your heads and stuff all the information. And remember, we talk about that. You have to actually process the information in order for it to be there. In order for it to go into your head, you have to process it. You have to do the work. So do the work. Be awesome. Stay positive. And I will miss, I miss you guys, and we'll talk to you soon.